Yo, yo, yo. Epic Bongzilla here. Up here on the Reaging Simulator. And I think I got everything figured out. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be up on here showing you guys Sonic Frontiers again. But this time, I'm gonna be showing off my specific settings on the emulator. Going over some details, some known issues. And really showing off its stability and just answering the question of whether or not this game is actually playable. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hit up the options first and check out our settings. And this should better bring up the settings window. Okay. So yeah, the general and the input, that's really your stuff. I would just make sure the game is configured like a Sonic game because that shit was not cons configured well when I uh, started the game up. And I still don't have it configured right. But here's where the important settings come into play. So, you definitely probably shouldn't have VSync on. In my opinion, it actually makes the game run worse. So, yeah, I have that unchecked. Um, I have this checked, I have this checked, I have the memory manager set to fast, and this is a really important setting. Ignore it, missing services, this will keep the game from crashing, like, frequently, if at all. So yeah, that's it for the system settings. Now let's go into the graphics, they're pretty straightforward. See here, I have an NVIDIA Jet Force GTX 1650. Have the multi threading on, shader cache. Now I have texture recompression off. I think this reduces your uh, frame rate, and yeah, I keep it off. Two times resolution scale is plenty. Now, if you were going to go for like a 4K setup, you would definitely need to go back into the settings and expand the DRAM because it will definitely help with 4K resolutions. And yeah, everything else is pretty standard. So yeah, if we go ahead and get over here. Now a known issue or something that I've been seeing frequently, the NSP file crashes a lot and I don't know why the fuck it does. But that's okay. If you can get a hold of an XCI file, it seems to run a lot better on the emulator. And so we're going to go ahead and start it up. Now, as you can see, I kept everything visible. You can see the frame rate and all that good stuff. So, yeah, keep that all in mind. Um, and so, yeah. I know there's uh, a lot of videos out here with the performance and stability of this game. It's literally just the hyperspace missions, which I think we all know at this point play fine on the emulators. So... Instead of going for the hyperspace, I'm going to go straight in, load straight into my game. And we'll really get to see the performance. And we can talk about the first known issue right here. So when you load into the big map, the sandbox, this is going to happen every time. The game is going to be really laggy. You're going to have a really low frame rate. And don't worry. After about chilling for like a minute, it just stabilizes and the game becomes pretty playable. So I'll go ahead and show you right here. See the frame rate is pretty bad. And I know you're probably thinking, well, like, what if I load into an auto stave in a battle or something? That's fine. You can actually pull the map up or you can pause a cutscene 
and just kind of wait for the game to stabilize and then continue playing. So it's not really a big deal. It's just a little time consuming. But yeah, let's just go ahead and let this sort itself out. Another thing to note is when you go in and out of tutorials, uh, this is going to happen every time, unfortunately. This is just something that I can't seem to fix. And it's really the main drawback of playing on this emulator. Because when I try to play this game on Yuzu, I load into the sandbox and the game just freezes. I can never actually play. So as you can see right here, we got a nice little frame rate looking pretty good go ahead and take a little walk over here So yeah, you can see it runs pretty damn stably, actually. Um, like, something to note, like I said, when you first load in, there'll be a stack of enemies here, you'll hit a tutorial, and you'll come back into the map, and you will be laggy as shit. So, like, a way, like I said, to deal with that is just pull the map up, like you see here, and just wait for the frames to go back to normal. But you can see it runs pretty damn good. We do all of Sonic's abilities right here. Well, I only have a couple. This is like a new game. But yeah. Get them all charged up, you know. So yeah, let's go ahead and have a little run Z. I missed that one, but it's okay. This will haul his fucking ass when he's fucking <laughs> charged up with rings. Okay. Alright. So we made it up here. Wee! Wee! Oh, there's an area down there, but I'm gonna skip it. I know you all see me staying kind of away from the edge. There is one other issue with this uh, game running on here that is pretty annoying, but you can still play the game and work with it, and that is when you die, the game just kind of locks up. Well, the emulator kind of locks up. Sometimes you can get past it by just waiting. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes the emulator just crashes, so... What I typically do is if I die, I'll try to just immediately go up top and uh, stop the emulation by just, you know, going actions and clicking stop emulation up here. Um, because that's the only way I really know how to get by that. And it seems to be more efficient than just waiting and hoping it works. Return to the digital dimension again. Use that Alright, I only have one. I was like, I kind of don't want to go into a cyberspace map. One, one gear is not enough. But check it out. So yeah, we can do a little boss battle too. Ooh, don't kill yourself, boy. 
And I got hit by those pussies. Oh, you fucking asshole. Oh my god. Right now. He's actually not that hard. I'm just being dramatic, but... Easy peasy. Use the gear as you have done before. Alright, thanks. So yeah. I would say that's about it. This is Sonic Frontiers running on Rhea Jinx. I'm on the most updated version of Rhea Jinx, which is currently 1.1. Point three five five. I'm on firmware version fifteen point zero point zero. Uh, my PC specs: I have a tenth generation i5 clocked in at a uh, two point five megahertz and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX sixteen fifty, thirty two gigs RAM. Pretty standard specs aside from the RAM, and yeah. I hope you all found this informational. I hope that uh, you all enjoyed. Oh, and I actually didn't answer the question. In my opinion, would I say this is playable? Well, I would say it's for sure playable, like no doubt. But uh, it's nowhere near as smooth and nice as it would be playing the Steam version. And I haven't played any console versions so like I couldn't really tell you I mean it's gonna play like Doogie if you get it on the Switch no matter what so like yeah um but yeah I would say the game's totally playable and it would be worth trying if this is your only option it's like usual it's been Epic Bongzilla if you found this informational or helpful please hit me with a like comment sub any combination of those things if you're watching on Twitch you know you can always hook me up with the follow, and I appreciate all that stuff. It's been epic. Uh, it's been epic, Bongzilla. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.